Hmm. Alright, guys. The results are in. Oh, wow. I just realized that sounds like the Mori show. Well, Atarski only went up three. Oh, Mo Manning! That's my dude. Alright, guys. Okay, Mackenzie goes up five. Strevler goes up four. I want to make an announcement. I want to make an announcement. Mitch Leidner was just the quarterback for one season. Philip Nelson was the quarterback for three seasons. In season five of the Minnesota Dynasty, we have a senior quarterback who has never played. Andy McKenzie, Andrew Johnson, and Stephen Cooper. Your season five starting quarterback is Andy McKenzie. There it is. He will be the starting quarterback. I'm not playing Streveler. It'll be Andy McKenzie. Let's see how much better he got. So he's now at 84 speed. 82 break tackling. The elusiveness is good. What's the carrying though? 72. That's not bad for a quarterback. And you guys see this catching? Spectacular catch. I think I want to have a wildcat formation where Andrew Johnson is the quarterback. He has 86 speed. He could play receiver. I just haven't moved him there. He has good break tackle. I think his carrying is fine. Ooh, not really that good. But Andy could p play Wildcat receiver even. He's versatile enough. So maybe we'll have a little Wildcat. But Andy, what more? Plus one to power, plus four to accuracy. So yeah, Strebler has... Last year, we had a quarterback who was accurate but couldn't throw long. I'm looking for the power back. I gotta get the cannon arm. He's, it's not a cannon, I guess. It's no Jamarcus, but I got to get somebody with a stronger arm to stretch the field. He's still pretty accurate. He's got the speed. Andy McKenzie is the season five quarterback. It's his show. It's all Andy now. All right, running back. So Martindale goes up five, gets faster. You guys haven't seen this guy yet. Haven't seen him yet. He was redshirted last year. Meet Maurice Pratt. He might be able to play some special teams for us this year. Maybe get some snaps at running back. 97 speed. He can fly. Only thing that worries me though is the carrying is kind of low. So I'll have to monitor that. Ninety-seven speed. At fullback. Looks like Will Thompson's gonna be seventy-eight with good speed. Now Tyler Hartman was a good fullback, and I let him carry the ball and he did well. He was like a sixty-eight speed. So I want to see how Will Thompson is because he's faster. He might even be a bigger threat at fullback. Fullbacks are big in my offense. Drew Wolitarski. Doug Duckett, Eric Carter, David Clark goes up to speed. Okay. Clark's been a returner. He has better acceleration than Pratt. He's too slower. Two points slower. What's his carrying? Ooh, he ain't dropping the ball often. He did in the bowl game, but... We'll see about Pratt. I gotta get him the ball. So, yeah. Well, Atarski's gonna be a beast. Now, Doug Duckett's gonna be our number two receiver, but he's also gonna stay as the slot man. So, in the three wide sets, I have to decide if I wanna put Eric Carter there on the outside or David Clark. Clark didn't play a lot of receiver last year. He had eight catches, if you remember back. And Eric Carter had eight catches. So, I haven't made that decision yet. I also have Martin Parker. And I have this Jared Rollins, who is a little bit worse overall, but he can fly, and he's 6'4". 
Six four with speed. Good hands. Not a spectacular catcher or a great jumper. So he's got some of those raw abilities. Not great getting off a line, only a 67 release. But yeah, he's a, a guy to watch out for. I mean, he's only a redshirt freshman, so his time might come later in his career. Tight end, Adam Kirkpatrick. Good to see him continue to get better. He's only a junior. Left tackle, Alex Mays, 88. Left guard. We only have freshmen there. Oh, the centers go up 5 and 6. That's good. John Hunter, yeah. Brad Carter. All right, defensive line. We're keeping all four of our starting defensive linemen for this year. And the tackles, oh, God. They are going to wreak havoc. Those guys are already very good. Maurice Manning, I'm scared to see what he does this season. We got good D-line depth, too. We even have John Meyer, who's just, you know, buried, and he's a good player. Dan Smith, in his senior season, I recruited him after year one. It's already his last season. And now Jonathan Starks, I don't think he got any bigger, but he got better. He's even faster now. Let's hope that he can hang at linebacker. I mean, the ratings say he can. We're going to give him his shot. Middle linebacker, Maurice Hudson. Hey, look at Leon. He's now a 52. But Maurice Hudson. And I know some people are tired of the Leon thing. I, I'm kind of tired of it, too. But it's, I don't know. The people have made it a story. So if I'm going to have a couple players who never see the field, I might as well have the one they like. De Niro Laster, Mar Marcus Woods, corner, Sam Graves in his senior season. You guys want to see Leon? He got a little bit faster this year. Look at the awareness at 54. I want to see like a plus 20 in some random area. That'd be hilarious. Look at the finesse move, though. And the block shedding is better than some players. The corner I moved. <laughs> the pursuit, recognition. Leon Daniels. God. I can't believe one of the most popular players in this series is a guy who has one career tackle. Cornerback. We're keeping the core alive. But... Two are seniors. So, Graves and Parker better make some noise this year because it's their time. Their last season. Let's see his ratings now. Oh, good luck throwing on him. Damn. Sam Graves. Sam Graves... I'm calling it right now. Double digit interceptions. He had seven last year. He's taken ten this season. It's happening. He is going to be an absolute monster. Sam Sherman. <laughs> Ooh, Patrick, look at that press. When his time comes, which is next year. Press man. Look at that. 98 press. Safety. Corey Boyd, who was a freshman last year. He's a freshman. Redshirt of freshman now. He's a guy who I was worried about because you guys saw Antonio Johnson get beat a couple times. And looking at the coverage ratings for his replacement, I'm not... I gotta see him in practice first. Now it doesn't look so bad, but his zone being like a 67 as it was before worried me. 
Oh, I want to see Ryan Elliott, because I moved him, because he wasn't that fast. If you got, like, a nice plus two to speed, that'd be cool. 81. Not a fast safety at all. Andre Gaines, big bounce back year. He was so much better last year. Even though his numbers are worse for tackling, yeah, it was a lot better from Andre in coverage. Kicker, Santoso, plus six. He's going to bury the kicks. Overall, though, now we got six guys in the 90s for overall. We have a senior, 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 junior. Yeah, we got to give these seniors some glory this year. And hopefully this guy is the right man to lead the ship. Six three, two hundred and seven pounds. It's his time, Andy McKenzie. Where's the freshman kicker you recruited? The, it doesn't show progression for guys who didn't progress. He was a high schooler, so he didn't have that progression. Advanced to cut players. Obviously, I got to cut five, like I talked about. Please retire Phil Nelson's number cane. <laughs> number nine. Please, Kane, I'm tired of seeing Santoso with gloves on. <laughs> Alright, so you guys were right. I must have missed two when I was counting. I gotta cut five. Hometown kid, though. Andy McKenzie. I wonder why it shows their state here. I only have six players from Minnesota. That's crazy. But yeah, I don't want Wesley McCutcheon. <sighs> okay, so let's start the cutting now. Obviously, I wanted to cut these two middle linebackers. I have other linebackers who would play over these two anyway. Although, yeah. I don't know, maybe at some point Daryl Smith could actually play like his senior year. He'd be okay. Yeah, I think it, that's why it shows states or pipeline building. But anyway, let's start over, go down the list. Keeping all these running backs, stashing them away. Receiver. We are going to cut Wesley McCutcheon. John Hunter. He's a junior. Young on the offensive line. Ricky Richards. Actually, Will Thompson needs it more. I play backup defensive lineman anyway. I got plenty of guys. So can I cut Ricky Richardson? Yes, I can. I only have to cut one more. Do I do it? Cut Leon? Cut Leon? Do I cut Leon? You just ruined a pipeline? Did I really? Hmm... I'm just checking some ratings quick. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this guy. Andy Bowers. He survived another season. I honestly thought he wasn't going to because I thought I was gonna get more recruits. I, I got good ones though.
Just making sure I didn't forget anything. Seventy of seventy. Time for custom conferences. <laughs> Leon is terrible. Leon to the Vikings. Guys, talk about a player who's going to play this season. Talk about my man Drew Olatarski, who's going to probably, hopefully have a thousand yard year. I do not want to reset my coaching skill tree because I've done it right the first time. Move to the SEC now. I am going to stay in the Big Ten. Custom conferences. Should we add Notre Dame to the Big Ten? They've been hanging out just playing whoever they want to. I think it's time for Notre Dame to be in a conference. East or West? What do you guys say? Because if he's in, if they're in the West, then they're gonna play us. I'll put him in the East, then we'll play him sometimes. I think I want to put him in the East. Because we already don't, we didn't play Michigan last year somehow. That wasn't a protected rivalry, I guess. Oh, Rutgers in Minnesota is protected. Yeah, that got screwed up. I need to change that one. Select the crossover team for Rutgers. Oh, Rutgers has to have a protected rivalry. We don't get one? Why don't I get one? Can I have a protected rivalry? Will you allow me to have a protected rivalry? Did you freeze? No. Oh, okay, I just didn't want to click, I guess. Alright, so... Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll put it in the east because of... Someone said it made sense because of geography, which is true. I just would like to get them in the conference. Alright, Notre Dame, welcome to the Big Ten. We're going to keep the West the way it is. Just press X when choosing for Rutgers. Wait, what the? Now there's no protected rivals because I unbalanced the divisions. Should I just keep it this way? We didn't have one anyway. So, does it really make a big deal? Whoops, BCS Bulls. Keep it the way it is. Well, yeah, welcome to the big 10. <laughs> 15. So I need to balance them out, huh?
Let me see the independents that are left. Mm. Maybe I'll take Notre Dame out. Yeah, I think I'll just keep Notre Dame in the independence now. Maybe I can get my protected rivalry back. I want to know why they have Rutgers with one, though. And everyone's saying no. They had Bama to the Sun Belt since they went 2 and 10. <laughs> Wow. Oh, man. Alright, we'll just keep it the way it is. Let's not worry about it. Let's get to our depth chart and stuff. We don't need to make any changes. We haven't changed stuff in a couple of years. Some may be disappointed, but it's okay. I promise. Andy McKenzie's here. It's going to be okay. Preseason. When is week one? It'll be up next week. I don't have to do a preseason for this, so it's nice. Oh yeah, I could have gone to Michigan Rivalry and changed that to Minnesota. I was thinking of putting us first. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Oh well, hopefully we play Mich Minis or We should play Michigan this year because we didn't play them last year, so shouldn't it alternate? Let's check out our schedule. They gave us Oregon State, Indiana, Ohio State, Iowa, Purdue, Troy, Northwestern, Illinois, Nebraska, Mid-Tennessee State. They did not give us Michigan again. Hmm. All right, let me look for a week one game. Let me open this one. Now, I don't do FCS teams. I kind of want a little tune-up game. We know it's Andy's first game. We got to get him ready. We got to get him prepared for playing in the Big Ten. Not going to be an FCS team. Last year we opened against Army. So how about we open against, how would Duke be as an opponent? Doesn't really say there. We never played against Duke. They gave us Troy. And then Mid-Tennessee State. Is this our random game of the year? Alabama University, Alabama, random, Oregon, Duke is surprisingly good. Well here we're gonna open. I do kind of want an easy game, first game of the year, just to get a feel for the offense with Andy again. A, a dual threat in there. So I think I'm going to go... How good is Kent State? 
Then we have Troy, and we can make this last one a harder game. I'm not sure how good Troy is in here. We're opening at home, though. You played mid Tennessee like two times already? Yeah, exactly. We opened against them in season three. So, how about. Hmm. I'm just looking at who's available here. Miami? We could play Miami right there. Miami, Troy, and Kent State is out of conference. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven home games. That's okay. At Troy, we'll go at Miami, make it six home games. I do like Idaho's Dome. That's a pretty cool stadium. I want to check out the Ken State um, uh, team, though. I just want to see what they're all about. All my on not auto conference games, though, I'll check them all. So Kent would actually be a competitive game. What about, who was the other ones that were up there? Uh, Colorado State, how good are they? Maybe we'll play against Colorado State. Because I do kind of want to open a, a tune-up game a little bit. Miami? That'd be a nice competitive one. They got a good quarterback. Gus Edwards. Corn Elder. You guys want to see us play against a running back named Corn? That'd be sweet. And then Troy. Yeah, we'll play against Troy. I'm going to change week one game to Colorado State. Should we see if Steven Smith went anywhere? Because he was an athlete, and he just, like, not be in the game now? <laughs> Alright. Colorado State. Troy. I just want to see if I can play Troy in Week 2 instead. No, come on. Why can't I play Troy there? What if... Yeah, whatever. I'll just put Troy back here. Alright. That's a good schedule right there. One home game, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. He's not in the game. They get taken out. That sucks. Let's do our depth chart. That's big. I'm sorry, Chris Streveler, but it's Andy McKenzie's show now. Red shirt freshman. Kevin Martindale. I think I might redshirt Alonzo Holland. Well, Tarski, Duckett, Carter, Clark, Parker. I'm probably going to redshirt Terrence Johnson. Change a wide receiver's number to 1 through 19. You know, I should. I was looking at my roster last night, and it's like everybody makes sense for their numbers, but in college, you can be creative. Third tight end. Yeah, I guess I 
Don't really have a third tight end now. 5'11", 192, huh? I'll put Will Thompson there. All right, left tackle, Alex Mays. Left guard is Joey Williams. I'm probably going to be redshirting another guard. So let me look at that first. Right, oh, no, that's not going to happen. Daniel Jones. Bradford's probably going to get redshirted as well. I'll have to take a closer look at this once I uh, go to cut players. Sophomore. Let's see, where is, what's his face? That defensive, oh, Meyer's already there. Meyer's already there, okay. That looks good. Outside linebacker will be Dan Smith. Middle right now, I'm going to say Maurice Hudson. Other side, either Laster, Woods, or Starks. I'm not sure yet. Starks could play anywhere. He might be kind of a, a DW, defensive weapon. But free safety, I'm not sure what's going to happen here yet. We have Corey Boyd. Maybe I'll put Starks up here, and they'll compete. 11 awareness? That's a thing? Ooh. I'll have to go into practice mode. But I know Andre Gaines will start at strong safety. Anthony Parks behind him. Kicker's good. Punter's good. Kick returner? Come on, don't take Clark out of the game. Maurice Pratt. Punt returner. Hmm. Probably Clark again. He's got the speed. And Pratt. Kickoff specialist is Santoso. Long snapper Alex Mays. That looks good. Will we see any practice in this stream? Yes. You're probably not going to see a lot of recruiting because the way I recruited last year takes a lot of boring time. Like, I'm very... I, it's different now. I'm going to put some guys on the board and scout them, but you're not going to see a lot of recruiting in this stream because I'm going to spend a lot of time with it on my own. Like, after the stream is over, I'm going to go edit the playbook and my recruiting board to get off to a good start this year. Um, let's go red shirt. Can't red shirt any quarterbacks. Running backs? Obvious targets there. Receivers? Terrence Johnson's going to get redshirted. Alright, now the linemen. I'm going to redshirt you. You're going to play. So Joey Williams starts here. I think I'm going to have my backup tackles play backup guard. I'll redshirt Craig Moore. So one, two... So if these two start, well, let me debate between these 73s. What side should Joey be on? He's even. You're even. Okay. So these guys are balanced. I'm only taking the red shirt off if I have to. Um, so I'm going to red shirt. Look at my right guards again. Okay, I'm going to redshirt these two. These two will start. Redshirt you. That means I have one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight active offensive linemen, which is okay. I could even redshirt Caleb Cruz and go seven active. And if I have to take the redshirt off somebody, I would. But it, in the case of them not playing, I might as well keep the redshirt on for now, right? That still makes that makes sense to me. Because I'm keeping four, five, six, seven guys active for five spots. Two guys could back up. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Marcus Robinson's going to get it. Maurice Manning, red shirt, get him next year. No. <laughs> nah. Not doing that. Aaron Harrison's going to get red shirted. Corners. I actually didn't have to do anything to these guys, but Bennett's going to get it. Greston. Derek Robinson. So we're still solid at cornerback. Safeties. Why not? Might as well keep Anthony Parks around for another season. He's not really going to play. So let's give him a bonus here next year to possibly start. Fire Kane. There's so much Fire Kane going on. Don't fire me. Curry gets redshirted. Let's go through it again. No quarterbacks because we can't. The two running backs. Um, Terrence Johnson. I showed off my weird plan at off on the offensive line. Basically redshirting as many players as I could. Marcus Robinson. I don't want to redshirt Jerry Jackson because I still want to find ways to use him. I think in our 3-3-5, I might change it up. I'm thinking on our 3-3-5, we can put Manning in the middle. And Henderson and Jackson at end. Because Saul Zwiddell's not fast. He's got power, but he's not fast. He's basically a defensive tackle that needs to gain 20 pounds. So, I think Jackson, Henderson, and Manning would make for a good 3-3-5 line. I will be changing things on defense this year. I'm going to really go into that playbook, too, and try to find some new packages. Aaron Harrison, not touching Leon Daniels. These guys are good the way they are. And Anthony Parks. Kicker Kevin Curry. So I think that's enough there. The 5-2 defense. Uh, I'm not sure what formations I'll add, but I want to see what my options are. Because I need to get a... I want to change up some things on defense and do some unique packages. Why would you have three players have the same year and lose all of them at once? What position is that? Not defensive tackle. I don't think I'm losing three at any position. I don't know if I am anyway. One senior at quarterback, two seniors at running back, Berkeley and Lamar. Two seniors at receiver, one senior at left tackle. Obviously, I'm gonna. These guys will have to get moved around because I'm not gonna have them all sit on the bench. No, I think I set this up the right way. I'm liking the way this is looking. Although, I think what you're saying is strong safety. So, Gaines will play again next year. Then you have Parks. I'm just trying to keep Parks around for another year because he's not going to play this season. I got some safeties over here who can go. These guys will all be seniors next year, but it's better than two and someone else. So, yeah. I'm okay with it.
Now let's... I want to look at a couple of rosters quick. Let's check out some of our rivals. I wonder if Iowa is intelligent enough to move Tyrone Campbell to quarterback. That would be insane if they did. Let's look at some of our Big Ten opponents, though. Illinois. Aaron Bailey is their new quarterback, and he's got 92 speed. I'm scared. I hope they don't run option. Damn. Well, then. We got some weapons. Deontay Taylor's been a problem. Iowa. Nope, they're going to go with Nick Shimonic. Shamanic. I'll have to look it up in the media guide or something. They keep in Tyrone. Number four receiver again, huh? You enjoying that, Tyrone? Is Iowa treating you well? You enjoying yourself? Are you having fun? You having a great day? Great life? How about Maryland? Eh. They're kind of getting low with the talent, looks like. Michigan. You know they're always going to be solid. Quarterback is Gordon Allen. So he's not a... He was a guy they recruited. Wally Williams. Play him. He's got some speed. Debion Smith. Debion. We're not playing Michigan, though. I forgot about that. Let's look at teams that are actually on our uh, schedule. I'm not sure if Michigan State is, but I'm hoping they're not because they're pretty good. Um, Nebraska. We play them. Who's their quarterback now? Johnny Stanton. No more no more Tommy Armstrong. I've had enough. Mm. That dude's a tank. Not the greatest receivers. They got any good defensive players? A DT, a safety, a corner. Two corners, actually. Northwestern. Uh, they got a good quarterback, Matt Alvitti. Justin Neal, fast. This team's given us some trouble. I think we've lost two straight games to them. I'd like to end that this year. We play Ohio State third week of the season. Third game, anyway. Their quarterback is going to be Matt Dixon. And look at that true freshman. Oh. Greg Harper, David Seward? Seward? They got fast halfbacks. Holy crap, look at the receivers. Dontre Wilson in the slot. That is scary speed on offense. Penn State. Not sure if we play them. DJ Crook. Norris Kilpatrick. How about Purdue? Not bad. Not a great quarterback, Sean Brown. Dalen Dawkins is a beast. Basically all offense for them at the top of the list. Rutgers. Play them last game of the season pretty much every year. They still are at Laviano for a season. We got a dual threat waiting in the meantime, though. It'll be another tough game. The team I'm looking for, though, I want to see how uh, Wisconsin looks. Because they surprised me last year. 0-8 to start the season. Now they have a quarterback, Robert McNeil. Pocket passer. Running backs, Amir Sands. A true sophomore. Adrian Hartman. Fast. Receivers, Rob Wheelwright, Skip Moore, Shane McGrew, same guys as last year. Best players. Best quarterback is at Oklahoma. 
pretty good running backs. Hey, Wolotarski is tied for best receiver in the game. Damn, USC, you got all good offensive linemen there? One thing I got to get more of, I got to focus this year on getting some pass rushers. I need to, we don't get to the quarterback enough. And our main pressure is inside with our defensive tackles. Do we have the best kicker? No. Close. <sighs> and you still will probably find a way to not get Drew 1,000 yards. It's tough with only 12 games. The bowl game does help. But this year, with an, I think we're going to have more deep passing this year. I think it'll be easier to get those big numbers. So let's, uh, I want to see if a depth chart got messed up at all. Then we're going to go into recruiting, edit rosters, and practice. So, anything gets screwed up. Joey Williams, Matt, Mike Ryan, Frank, Blake, Daniel Jones. I think it looks good. We have another right tackle here. Maybe we don't. Okay. They took him out for me and filled the roster, which is nice. Defensive tackle straight? Yes. Outside backer, Smith. Middle linebacker, Hudson. Outside, Laster. Filling in some big shoes there, De Niro. Wait a minute. His awareness is a 45 at outside linebacker, but it's an 11 at safety? Is that, that's a thing? Awareness changes based on position? Why is everybody saying Andy number 11? Peppers wasn't starting? Let me check. Manning. Oh, you're right. I want to keep Peppers there. Good call, man. Graves, Parker, Smith, Patrick. Boyd. Gaines. Let me put someone else here. Yeah, Corey Boyd. Taylor Larson. I just, that 11 awareness kind of freaks me out. I don't know awareness changed that position. Everybody wants Andy at number 11. People don't want the quarterback at number 1. Hmm. Why do you guys want Andy at 11? Because we want him to be number 11. <laughs> Alright. We'll worry about Andy's number later. You guys are like number 11 for some reason. You want him to have Dante Culpepper's number with the Vikings. Not creating any prospects. We'll just skip to recruiting. He ain't no Cam Newton. One is a selfish number. We'll see. Let me check out some recruits, though. Spark 100, that's what we always start with. Melvin Wilson's the top recruit available. Let's sort it by interest. Well, we always look at the guys who are number one. Max Harrell. Robbie Ransom. PJ Lumpkin. Reggie Stovall. We're having two defensive tackles graduate, so we gotta definitely load up. Calvin Hall. Brian Smith. I said I wanted the pass rusher. We'll see what he can do. He runs a 4-6-2, it says. Kevin Jacobs. 
and Roderick Boyd. You gotta at least scout him when you're this high. Let's look at lock percentage. Tyler Wright, Melvin Wilson, Carl Crosby, Lester Price. I might return to this, but I want to go check now everybody who I have number one. And already everybody wants me to get PJ Lumpkin. <laughs> Alright, anybody who has us as their top school is worth a look. 40 freaking 1 this year? Okay. Let's, uh. Eric McClelland. I have to actually. I can't just put them all on my board, I don't have enough spots. One sec. Quarterback, Justin Curry. See, I want a dual threat. And I don't think he's got it. Dustin Easley, Ryle Newberry, and Brian Randall. He's got the fastest 40. I'll come back to it. Luke Harris. Yes, fullback. I have good receivers, so not I'm not putting one on the board yet. Offensive line, I'm still trying to build that as much as I can. Only one guy on the O-line. Ooh, they heard me when I said I wanted pass rushers. So, 4-6-2, you're on the board. Everybody else? Hmm. Caleb Wilson. Not yet. Joe Henry, of course. Gotta put him on the board. Anthony Hill. <sighs> Outside linebackers. Cornelius Watson. That speed alone. Look at, he's a 400 bench press, 560 squat. Of course, not as much as this guy, but he's got a good 40. And he's 230. And he's 6'6". Big and fast. Yes. But I got a scout a bunch of people. I'm just looking through all these. Eh, not worried about these corners. Randy Parker. Worth putting on the board. How about a punter? Nope. Athlete. I love athletes. I put all the athletes on because I gotta see what they can do. This guy runs a 4-9. So did I finally find an athlete who could play linebacker? Let's scout these guys. Of course, I'm not going to be spending... I don't think I'll be spending all my points in here right now. I want to see if I can upgrade my coaches yet. Because, um, like I said, I want to spend some time in the recruiting board um, outside of the stream. Just so I can put the proper amount of time into it. Because I want to get a, good, a class like I had last year. I thought last year's was great. Ended up with 17 players. And we had a lot of really good ones. Difference makers. So I can't upgrade yet. I'm not sure when I get into the commit. Is it when I fill all these up? Because in that case, I still have to get five more upgrades, or uh, six upgrades, just to go up and get into the commit. Let's check out my new D coordinator, though. He's got defensive line stuff, block shedding. Not about that man coverage, though. We'll have to fix that. But it'll help our front seven, probably. Our own linemen. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. We started off with a running back focus. And then, um... Next one's probably going to be quarterback. I don't know, maybe we could finish off the receiver one, but... Want to help out Andy. Got to groom our quarterback.
All right, let's scout some players. Let's look at positions. Let's start with the fullback. You know, the fullback's important. Oh, I didn't check Canada yet. It's a tradition. We always check Canada. I have found some really good Canadians before. So. We always give Canada a look. We need to make Canada a pipeline. Robert Davis, Mike Moore. Doug Ross. Ooh, 49 though. A corner, a guard. Let's check out the safety. And hopefully the guard is a gem. Stream almost three hours. Yeah, that's kind of why I bumped it up an hour earlier so I would uh, end at a more reasonable time. But it's still been super long. Fullback first. I can scout 20 guys completely. Seventy-seven overall with decent speed, that acceleration, good blocker, good decent catcher. He's a fullback, remember? I can work with that. God, I got this poster on my wall, and one of the thumbtacks fell out. And when my fan's on, it makes this ridiculously annoying noise when it's on the wall. Anyway, we'll look at receivers later. How about tackle? Ooh. How about the guard? Ooh, no, don't do that. Need to get some pass rushers, like I said. Blake Smith, or Bl Brian Smith, my bad. We get a 250 bonus every week, so we're not too far behind Wisconsin and Oklahoma. How about Jeff Robinson? 255, not bad. I can work with that, definitely. 77? 76, I can still work with that easy. That's good. He could play uh, outside linebacker in a 3-4 even. Let's check a couple defensive tackles. Who do I have the best bonuses for? Ooh, 305. Reggie Stovall. Ah, uh, a couple of our teams have better bonuses, but... Not bad. No major gems yet, though. Cornelius Watson. He wasn't the gem, but he's got the speed I love in my linebackers. But he sucks in coverage. Maybe he could be a defensive end. Maybe. Free safety. A 155 bonus. Ooh, that's far behind them. Strong safety. What's the bonus here? 285. That's exactly what they said he was. A 67 with no speed. Not great coverage ability, but he could do... He can shed blocks. Could he play linebacker? 5'11", 200? Hmm. Lackluster so far. Let's check the athletes, so they usually save the day. That's a 270 bonus, a 295, and a 275. So we're going to scout all three of these dudes. Calvin Hall. Damn, that 92 speed. All right. Calvin Hall. He can cover. He can kind of catch. He's a defensive back. He is 6'2", 205, so press. Where's press? He's a corner or a safety. I'd probably put him at safety. But it depends. Four-star linebacker was missed. Everyone says they need to scout some four-star linebacker. Or no, if there was one on the list, I'm going back to look later. Like, this is just me kind of doing a few things now, but I'll find it.
All right. This guy was the guy who I thought was going to be a linebacker. 265. Maybe he's a defensive end. Definitely defensive. Fullback, maybe? Let's see. Hit power and tackle isn't that good. This guy's a fullback. He's definitely not a running back. Wow. He's just not that great. He's a fullback, though. Never found a fullback in here. Jason Russell. At... 6'1", 195, so probably a defensive back or receiver here. 95 speed, can't cover, so no defense, he's a receiver. Can you offer scholarships yet? I don't think so. All right, I'm not like I said. I'm not doing a lot of recruiting in here. I'm gonna save a lot of it for my just on my own, and I'll probably I'll show the scouting in the next video. Of course, the edited off season will show a little bit more than you're gonna see in this stream. Fifty six catch. Well, let me see. Are they talking about the receiver? 56 catching? No, I can't do work. How can you run routes, but you can't catch? How can you catch in traffic, but you can't catch? This guy can only make highlight plays. That doesn't make any sense. It's like it wants him to be a lot, oh, running back, but he doesn't have... I don't know, he has 72 break tackle. So he have elusiveness. Maybe he's a running back. O.W. Just call him O.W. <laughs> I'm going to save the rest of the scouting for later. You'll see guys, but not right now. I'm going to move on. Only throw to him in coverage. That makes sense. Team management. Let's edit some of our players. Then we're going to do practice mode. And then I'm going to end the stream. Alright, so Andy's already been edited his appearance. And I spent some time editing guys yesterday. But you guys don't like his number. That's Andy McKenzie right there. You guys want a different number. You guys want 11. Hmm. Other options. At quarterback, number 50 something. I don't know, maybe I could do like a Twitter poll or something, but then you guys could also... I don't know, I only put in numbers that I'd actually accept. I don't know, I kind of have my heart set on number one. Number seven looks cool on them. Well, let's just say I haven't made a decision yet. So we're going to keep him at number one. I thought seven looked cool, though. Every quarterback who wears number seven is elite like Christian Ponder, you know. Please don't take that seriously. It's bad for your health. All right. Running backs. Alonzo, we can change him next year. He's not playing. Oh, is Matt Pierre. Now, I'm a Vikings fan. 
You gotta earn 28. You're not just handed 28. So even though you're redshirted, you've gotta take that number off. You, you're having 43 before you get 28 from me. You ain't get 28 for free. Take off the right glove. Maybe I will later. I'm not going to right now. All right, receivers. Martin Parker, I edited him last night. He um, might get some playing time this year. And here he is, Martin Parker, red shirt freshman. Maybe he's a prime candidate to be a receiver in the teens. 85, that's a tight end number now to me. Let's give him Let's give him 15. 15 looks cool. Newton was a bust because Kane misused him. Debatable. All right, so Kirkpatrick stays the way he is. Who is new on defense? Maurice Hudson. I added him last night. You guys can take a look. Give Parker a single digit. Or uh, Pratt, maybe? Yeah, I should edit Pratt. I gave Hudson 58. I don't know. 52? That's like a number like only inside linebackers can have. Maybe I'll give him 52. No, I want to give him a visor. He's a big 6'5", scary linebacker. He deserves a visor. Dark Nike. I'm just seeing everybody else's number. De Niro Laster. That's a weird number for a linebacker, but he might be starting. He's a senior. But I think I'm going to give him um, 50. I give him, I'll let him keep his calf bands because he's a senior. That's it, though. Hartman was 44, yep. Have cuts been made? Yes, I've made all the cuts. Nothing new at corner. Safety, okay. Corey Boyd has a chance to start, but we're going to have to see how he holds up in practice. 26 works for me. you got to earn the calf bands, because I don't like them. You're not wearing ankle braces either. If you want, you can tape your ankles. I like tape the ankles kind of look cool. I don't know if I like that look though. So there's that. He's number 26. Andre Gaines. And the people don't like Santoso's gloves. Hey, we're not going to mess up with the working formula here. He doesn't have gloves. He's got taped fingers and wrist. We're going to give him what he wants. But you guys want Andy to go to a one-glove look. Under Armour Nitro. Hmm. 
Hmm. We'll try it out. Dan Smith, 28. I want to go with Pratt, though. 25. This guy deserves a single-digit number. I'm gonna give him six. I'm not giving Leon twenty eight. Will Thompson gets forty. All right, guys, let's do some practice mode now. Make Pratt three. I think three is better. But I want to test out this offense, so I'll change Pratt later. Let's get into practice mode. We're going to run some random plays from the 50-yard line. We're going to test some guys out. We're going to see how they play. You guys are just trying to give Andy the RG3 look. Take off one glove. Give him a full sleeve on this arm. I see what you're doing. Let's play some practice. I'm talking about practice, man. I'm talking about practice here. Give Andy a club for his non-throwing hand. <laughs> yeah. Let's give him two knee braces, two ankle braces, a neck roll. Let's do the works. All right, here at the Nike Spark facility, we're going to do some practice. Spot the ball. No, don't do that. I guess I can't change that yet. Here, let's do... Where is random play hiding in here again? I forgot. Ask coach. I forget, there's somewhere where you can pick random play. Is it in any formation? Yeah, it has to be in a formation. We're going to go with our bread and butter formation. I think I wanted to make a change in this one, though. We're just going to go to our base 4-3. All right, Andy McKenzie, practicing. Outside, his first throw in the practice is intercepted. We're going to take some chances here and just see what we can do. Double screen, Martindale. Feeling pretty good. Uh-oh, McKenzie. Oh, they're giving him tough times so far. Defense looks ready. Uh-oh, the play action game. How is this going to be with Andy? Perfect throw and Willa Tarski with a nice catch. Hands off. Edwards. He was a beast last year. I liked him a lot. Oh, come on. Why does he always say Oklahoma? Is that your favorite state, Andy? Uh-oh. End zone! Inter oh, come on. I'm just getting... Do all quarterbacks say that? Because like, I didn't notice it with... Uh, I haven't noticed it with any other quarterbacks in here. Alright, I'll actually hand off to Edwards this time. Man, the defense is dominating so far. Uh-oh, Andy puts it up! Incomplete. 
It's nice to have a running quarterback again, though. Oh, I wanted Drew. Oh, there's the blitz. There's my man, Duckett. Pitch it. We'll try a new formation soon. We're only trying this too wide. Ooh, look at Edwards. Alright, two more plays. Well, one more pass. I want to get one more pass out of this formation with Andy. Here we go. Deep ball. Drew! Knocked down by Graves, of course. We're going to have a lot of trouble throwing on him in practice. Let's try... Wing offset. Is there enough plays in here? No, there's not. Let's do slot flex if there's an... Yeah, there's a lot of pass plays in here to try out. So we'll go that against our nickel 335 running a random play. Nice blocking! Yeah, I'm ignoring the Adrian Peterson got traded to the Packers comments, by the way. <laughs> oh. Dump it off, Andy. Oh, look at the tight end with the moves. Okay, here we go. Play action. Damn, Andy gets out of the pocket fast because he can run. That wasn't even intended for him. I hit square. Come on, Andy, you're going to have to break some more tackles. Yeah, our defense always looks good in these practices, though. I need to test this free safety. That t He gets in position this time. Because I'm worried about that free safety. That one. Hey, he made the play. Ooh, I was off balance there with Andy. Can I move to my left? No, Andy. You gotta keep going, Andy. <laughs> McKenzie. End zone. I wish the receivers made a better attempt for the ball. Oh, Boltarski. It fumbled, huh? We haven't scored a touchdown yet in here. Look at that dart to duck it. Uh-oh. Stepped out of bounds. Let's try Kirkpatrick deep. End zone shot for the tight end. No. McKenzie is the new Rex Grossman. That is not nice. He said Texas. Or taxes. I'm not sure. Hold on, broke down that time. I like this 3-3-5, though. But like I said, after the stream, I'll be going through the playbook and making some changes. So you won't see some packages until week one. Ooh. Nope. I want to get some crazy play in here, though. Die for it. McKenzie, end zone, Wolodarski, nope. We'll go to a shotgun set after this play. Oop, get the block there. And McKenzie. Oh, oh, there it is. Wolotarski! That's the new kid on the block right there. Andy McKenzie. Deep. In position. Wow. Who has 50 now? Because that was Jack Lynn's number. That's going to screw me up. Who did I give 50? Hey, that Corey Boyd isn't doing too bad. 
Uh oh, let the man get inside. That's a problem. Here we go. A touchdown to Doug Duckett. My man Kirkpatrick. College needs to get the NFL's down by contact rule, though. Nobody wants a player to be able to get down because he fell. Uh oh. End zone! Oh! Eric Carter! All he does is make crazy catches! Eric Carter is a beast. We already have some doubters in here, though, about Andy. He's not as good as I thought he'd be. It's practice. Look at that. Eric Carter. I better get a little shot of Andy, though, for the thumbnail. So I didn't get Andy, I guess. This is the man. Let's get a throwing shot. I think he's looking good. Ooh, Andy showing off the cannon there. We're talking about practice, though. Drag. Alright, here's what I want to try now. I want to try an actual situation. I want to move the ball back a little bit. Because we're testing the arm now. We're going to try early in the drive on the left hash. I want a new formation though. Although this is one of my favorite um, play action formations. Let's just try to spread them out. Maybe we'll even go shotgun for this. Split shotgun. I'm going to try to get Pratt in there though. We have never seen Maurice Pratt. And we'll put in our nickel three three five again. I kind of wanted to try uh, play actions here, but I don't, I don't think we're going to get much. Deep across the field. I'm testing off Andy's arm, too. Just I got to see what he's capable of before week one. Uh-oh, Martindale, stay up. Let's get Pratt involved. Uh-oh, Andy owes a back shoulder. Santoso's field goal range. Maybe we'll have to do that too. It's good to have that information. Uh oh. I couldn't do anything there anyway. Yes, the Bruin. Everybody knows what the Bruin. Here it is. Going deep. Nope. Sam Graves. He's everywhere. You can't escape Graves Island. No, I'm not actually going to work that into the thing, though. <laughs> oh, Martindale. Our defense is looking good in here, though. I just want to get Pratt in the open field. Hey, Drew. Uh-oh. There we go! Martindale! Oh! You McKenzie sucks. Everybody... Hey, there's some negatories in here when it comes to Andy McKenzie. 
We could hit the open man, but instead, Andy has an arm, guys! Mitch Leidner would have had to hit that short receiver. Instead, Andy can take the top off the defense. Look at that cannon. Wolotarski dropped it. Graveyard? Oh, boy. The graveyard. People just thought of that now. People are geniuses. Don't rip that out. Martindale's my man. Alright, Andy. I can't wait to run more with Andy, though. Alright, we'll get Pratt in the open here. Man, I don't know if he has any moves, but I know he has speed. We're going to get some laterals in here. Oh, okay, Andy missed that one. He's getting tired, though. We've been practicing for a while. <laughs> Actually, I don't think fatigue is in here. Look at this. I can scramble. Uh-oh. Man open. Let's just try this. Oh, duck it. That was cold-blooded right there. Oh, we tried to do a lateral. Martindale, come on now. I wonder who the first person to say graveyard was. Because that might work. Off the back foot? Uh, Andy couldn't do it. Let's try to get Andy off balance throwing something bad. Like, let's go right and throw across the field. Okay, that sucked. Blue 14, check, check. Taxes. Uh oh, screen. Pratt. Mm. Triangle. I can't say it, it's not connect. Oh, come on, Andy. Actually, come on, Carter. That was bad. Graves is shutting down Wolotarski, though. That's a zone. Wolotarski, get out of my way! Oh, man. They're getting some good rush on me, though. Our whole D-line is returning. Remember that. Let's just try Eric Parker again. Eric Carter, I mean. Look at that. Carter's a playmaker. Hey. Graves knocks everything. I'm going to beat Graves. Okay, Andy, that was bad. I'm going to beat Graves, though, one-on-one. -on -one. He can even shut down Drew. Man, that Matt Henderson's eating my offense alive. Let's just try putting this one up. Parker, intercepted. Ah, uh, not getting that one, not getting that one. Move, Drew! I'm testing these D-backs, and they're playing really well. How about... Ah, oh, Too early. I'm gonna beat Sam Graves. Uh-oh. Touchdown, Andy. Nope. I saw some blocks. Hey, beat Sam Graves. Of course, we had to have about six seconds to do it. All right, we'll try a new formation after this play. I'm liking this practice, though. Boom. Oh, hey, Eric Parker's showing up. Would be funny to see Graves pick off a shovel pass. Wow. Five wide receivers. Let's spread them out. 
put them in the dollar. Ooh, that's pressure. Look at that, Carter's still trying to make a play. Andy out of the pocket. Buying time. <laughs> Crushed. Deep. And, oh, took that one away. I want to see this Martin Parker character, though. How's he? Can McKenzie throw a man open deep? What is it about Eric Carter, guys? What is it about him? Say hello to this year's Jamel Harbison. Andy with the deep ball. God, he just makes plays. Eric Carter is earning his bid to be the number three receiver. Not a slot. He played on the outside. Duckett moves to the slot because Duckett's a slot machine. Uh-oh. Quarterback draw. Will this be a viable play this year? We'll just go deep here. Parker. Nope. Or off. Yeah, Martin Parker. Eric Carter. Then I have Eric Parker, too. Someone go deep. I want to hit a guy. Triangle should go deep right now. Instead, R1. Nope. Out of the pocket. Uh oh, square. We're just going to test it. Ah. Uh, throw to Clark so we can show Carter up. Setting the blazer deep. David Cart or Clark. Hey, that's a play. Double screen. Parker. That was almost knocked away. Oh. Parker. Not bad. Going to get some snaps maybe now. Smack. Carter on the jet. Does he make plays on the jet sweep? Nope. Carter versus Graves? I have to change a depth chart for that. Mid screen. Hey, this actually worked. Normally it hasn't worked for me in a long time. Quarterback draw. Andy. I'm liking Andy McKenzie. I don't know about all of you. Maybe there are going to be some doubters. Freaking Doug Duckett now makes an amazing catch. Oh, well, that's overthrown, Andy. Clark almost caught it. You're apparently not done. Nope, I'm still going strong. Enjoying the offseason to its fullest. Alright, someone needs to come on this side of the field. McKenzie with the cannon! Intercepted by Corey Boyd. McKenzie deep? Nope. But I know Andy's going to be able to throw guys open long. Not all situations, obviously. He doesn't have a cannon arm, but he has a strong arm. It's stronger than Leidner's. That's not saying a lot. We're going to scramble. Ooh, if he would have made that throw... That would have been nice. Mid-screen, Drew. McKenzie's arm is amazing. I like Andy. Better than Leidner and Nelson. Uh-oh. I can't remember what Nelson's speed was at the very end. But he didn't have too many fans in this series. How is Sam Graves not a star, but like Matt Smith is? I want to see you guys, I want to see stat predictions for Andy's freshman season. I saw someone just put one up, and that's a good idea. Put Leon in. Set. 
I want to see what Leon can do. Leon Daniels, please come off the bench. Look at the comments. It's all Leon. And it's not the same person. It's like 30 people. Leon's coming, guys. Not at quarterback or anything, but... Is he out there? I don't see... Number 69. I don't know. Is that Leon there? That's Leon. There's Leon Daniels. I'm gonna try to throw it at Leon Daniels. I just did. Hey, look. Leon made a tackle in practice. <laughs> Could Leon get the interception? Hey, he forced an incompletion. Leon blitzing. Leon at quarterback. You guys are insane. Hey, Leon made a play there. Thirty-five hundred yards, thirty touchdowns, eleven interceptions, five rushing touchdowns. Come on, Leon. Leon Daniels. The comments have taken over the stream. Could Leon even be allowed here? Leon isn't even showing up. Okay, at least I... I can't fulfill that wish. He can't play quarterback. That's probably a good thing. Let's go to a new formation. There's still pull Leon in. Now it's start Leon. That isn't happening, guys. Let's try slot F wing against our 4-3 package. Yes, Leon is still in. Nice little play there for Duckett. Oh man, look at the space. Thompson, outrun everybody, please. Here's a play action. I want a bootleg though. They're all open again. I think that's Leon's coverage that's giving up these open spots. Duckett. Stay inbounds. I love this play. This is one of my favorite plays in the playbook now. Wow, he almost made that. Martindale outrunning more! Oh my god, Martindale! <laughs> Leon at halfback. The comments are officially out of control. Why do you do this to me? <sighs> Leon is terrible. One play without him. Leon's going to be on defense and offense now. Oh my god. Oh no, Leon just made this offense terrible. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> Damn, the, court, the running back just blocks and everything here. Oh, user catch. Uh oh. Look at Leon Daniels plow.
Look at that! An absolute dart! That's Andy McKenzie, guys. You gotta love him. Leon. Oh, God. <laughs> Leon freaking Daniels, man. Leon Daniels. Look at how long it takes him to get out there. Oh, my God. Oh, they caught up. Leon's terrible. Leon at head coach. Hey, you be careful what you say. I'm going to try empty quads with the halfback there now. Against a dollar defense. Oh god, he's on a streak. So is he, and he's wide open. Carter! Leon at kicker. Oh my god, he, he caught it, but he fumbled. We're gonna test Santoso's range soon, yes. We'll get the nonsense out of the way. I don't know, it's kind of amusing. Everybody loves him. He, that's a catch. Fire Kane, hire Leon. Uh, as long as he's not like the most remembered player from this series at the end of it, uh, that's okay with me. Oh boy, got it! Man, Andy's gonna be fun this year. Oh wow, man in motion. It's Leon Daniels, he gets the handoff. Leon! Oh wow. I just stared at that blitz. Uh oh, they blitzed! Daniels over the top! Leon covered Leon! Leon on Leon! Knocked away by Leon! Let's get someone else involved though. Here, let him run. Eric Carter. Let's turn up. Yeah. Carter again. Eric Carter, man. I'm starting to love this guy on at receiver. Getting more snaps. Damn, who's chasing Andy? That was Matt Smith. Holy cannon! Almost connected. Oh my god. I, these comments. For you on YouTube, you're lucky you're not looking at the comments right now. As Andy misses. Oh god, bubble screen to Leon. He can't break a tackle. Oh, wow. Alright, two more throws, and then we're testing Santoso. That doesn't count. Oh, God. Leon! <laughs> he can't even leap. He can't even get off the ground. I like Andy McKenzie's arm, though. Let's play some field goal. We're gonna try... We're gonna see if Santoso first off can hit a 55. So that's with the ball at the 37-yard line. 37. Oops. We'll do one more play. Alright. Let's try the field goals. Man, the jerseys are so dirty. I didn't notice that until now. Oh, 
Oh no, I want a 38 for a 55. That's right, this is a 54 yard attempt. So let's see, Santoso. 54. Perfect conditions. He's got room to spare. Let's try a 60. So a 60 would be the 43 yard line. Uh, can you guys show me? That's 20, 30, 40. 3. Sixty yards. Oh, I didn't get all of it. And was that good or no good? I can't tell. And that was the forty-three. Oh well short. Let's see if I get all of it. Santoso! I think he hit the crossbar and it was good. So a 60. Ah. Uh. Oh. Had a little bit of room to spare. Now, it's a longer kick if it's not straight on. Because the ball has to travel horizontal. The diagonal distance is a little bit longer. So let's see if he can hit it from a corner. All of it. Santoso. That was even better. Santoso. Nailed that one. I'm pretty sure. Yep, he did. Santoso drilled it. He can hit a 60. Alright guys, we're trying from here at the 45. This is a 62. Santoso Oh, off the crossbar! Santoso! Oh, off the crossbar again! He can make this! Oh, not all of it. <laughs> Test Leon's field goal range. <laughs> That may have been good. Looks like his max in practice is a... Ah, uh, no. No good. Nope. We gotta get as close to this inside post as we can. I don't think that made it either. No. I don't think I can hit a 62. That time I got it. Perfect. Santoso can hit a 62 yard field goal. What would it do if I did all the way up? Skyed it. Santoso, not into the end zone. I'm practicing field goal return. Can I do this again? Ooh. That would have had enough leg, too. Santoso. Nope. Alright. 
We know the kicker has some major range. So in perfect conditions and a perfect kick, he can hit a 62. Let Leon kick. I don't even think it will let me. <sighs> All right, guys, that is going to do it for the Minnesota Gophers Season 4 off-season live stream. It's almost been four hours. Uh, we did quite a bit to the recruiting depth chart. We started new recruiting. I'm still going to spend some time with that. Uh, practice mode did quite a bit of practice, actually. We got to see Andy McKenzie. But that's going to be it for today. Sorry. But uh, good off season. We got some new talent here. Season five is looking. We'll see how season five goes. It was very good in the UTSA dynasty. We'll see how it treats us in the Minnesota Gophers dynasty. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. But um, I'll have the end of that off season coming soon. And I'll see you guys when season five kicks off. Remember, our first game of the season is against Colorado State. So I'll see you guys then. Later, guys. Have a good night. And no, Leon's not starting.